distinguished members of the African Union Peace and Security Council, eminent personalities, Right Honorable Ibrahim Zanasunoma is my name, a one-time speaker of the Borossi Children's Parliament, an incumbent deputy speaker of the Nigeria National Children's Parliament, and a chariot activist from Nigeria. It is an honor for me to address you today as we mark the 20th anniversary of the African Union Peace and Security Council, an institution that has played a pivotal role in addressing peace and security concerns across the continent. At this juncture, I would like to say congratulations to the African Union Peace and Security Council on reaching this significant milestone. Over the past two decades, the Peace and Security Council has made significant strides in addressing conflicts and promoting stability. However, as we celebrate these achievements, it is crucial that we also focus on one of the most vulnerable groups affected by armed conflicts. We, the children. Children are often the silent victims of war, bearing scars that may never heal. Our voices are rarely heard, but yet our experiences and perspectives are invulnerable. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that their rights are protected and their futures are safeguarded. In parts of Africa, children are still subjected to the harsh realities of war. Our schools are destroyed, our parents killed, our teachers murdered, we are deprived of education. And unfathomable of them all, we lose our innocent souls. Children are still recruited as child soldiers. The scars of insurgency, the scars of trauma, the scars of fear run deep. These issues not just violate our fundamental rights, but also hinder the development of our societies. As we look ahead, I envision a future where every child in Africa can live free from the fear of conflict. A future where they can access quality education, receive adequate health care, and grow up in environments that nurture our potential. To achieve this, we must strengthen our commitment to child protection in all our peace and security efforts. I would like to urge the African Union Peace and Security Council to prioritize child protection in its policies and operations. Let us incorporate the voices of children in our decision-making processes and ensure that their rights are at the forefront of our peace-building initiatives. Going forward, I would like the Peace and Security Council to make sure that actions, not just words, should be the measure of our successes. Thank you for your dedication to peace and security over the past 20 years. Let us continue to work together tirelessly and passionately to build a safer, more just world for every child. Together, we can make a difference. And alas, thank you for this opportunity to speak on behalf of the children affected by armed conflict. Let us move forward with renewed commitment and unwavering resolve. Thank you very much and goodbye.